Hey everyone and welcome back. Today is very special and close to the heart because this week is National Eating Disorder Awareness Week. If you've been watching my channel for any time or have been following me on Instagram or any kind of the social media I have out there, you know that I have gone through an eating disorder and I have come out, I have found freedom. And so today I'm just making a video on the top three things you need to do if you have an eating disorder and how to overcome one. So so here are just those three tips and then I'm going to also leave off people that may have a loved one in their life that's going through an eating disorder and what you can do to help them. So first is just admitting you have a problem. That's huge and that was the biggest step I had to take. And admitting that I had a problem was hard. I didn't want to admit I had a problem. I thought that I could just, you know, come out of it myself and I never had to admit to anything. And that's just not the case. Like a healthy mind began when I admitted that I had an issue. Number two is seeking support in both family and friends and professionals. I, this goes along with the first, but along with the not wanting to admit I had a problem, I wanted to solve that problem myself. I am always the person that helps others and I'm always the person that can overcome anything. And so I wanted to say that I can come out of this on my own terms with myself. I didn't need anyone else's help. I definitely didn't need to see a professional and that's just not true either like the professionals in my life that helped me brought me strides and without them I know I wouldn't be where I am today and then number three is just loving yourself and treating yourself with compassion and forgiveness you have to treat yourself like you treat other people a lot of times we fall into this state of forgiving others and having compassion for others but just being stuck in such guilt and feeling like we're failures and feeling like we're so messed up and not forgiving ourselves for making mistakes. So, you know, forgive yourself, begin loving yourself again and take small strides to love yourself, whether that be to clear your feeds of all the negativity or people that are making you feel just not confident about yourself. Surround yourself with people that bring you up and encourage you and help you become better. You know, we're the average of the top five people we spend the most time with. Surround yourself with those top five people wisely. So I hope that these three tips helped you. And if you're someone that has a loved one in your life that's suffering with an eating disorder, get help for them. Talk to them about it. Don't be scared. Don't make it be the big elephant in the room. Talk to them about it and help them seek out help because that in the long term is gonna be best for everyone. Hope you guys had a great day. Hope you guys had a great week. Come follow me on my own journey at Freshman and Healthy on Instagram, Snapchat, Sarah underscore Grace 11, and then subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Until next time, guys, bye.